how did you land the role? What was the process like in uh, booking this movie? Well, you know, it was pretty traditional. Uh, traditional, it came with just the audition. You know, I was chilling at a, a fast food restaurant, Wendy's to be exact, with my <laughs> other actor friends. And I remember getting this email and I just dropped everything. The mm -hmm. food, everything. And I left, <laughs> they text me like, yo, where you going? And I'm like, I gotta prepare this role. You know, um, very, it's not very often we get a script that's so rich and so like full of different colors and emotions for an actor. So um, I knew reading the story and uh, looking up Ray that I needed to portray this role. And I was lucky enough too. Had you heard of Ray's story before? Um, and what was the, the research process like when you went into, you know, learning how to portray and embody this character? Because it's different when you're playing a real life person or like a real life inspired person. <clears throat> right, it, it, it truly is different. I actually didn't hear anything about Ray's story, um, which was so fun to me because when you don't know, you get the, um, the luxury of finding out all these new things and, and you know, just searching it. So um, just looking Ray up and, and spending time with his story, really digging in and then finally getting to meet Ray, you know, and then see these same subtleties and characteristics that I heard of in person was otherworldly. And I loved every moment of being able to play him. What do you think is the most important lesson that people can take away from the film? There's, it's a lot of, um, I guess, moral, <laughs> moral decisions that are made. And um, it's, it's really feel good. But what do you think ultimately is the big message that people can take away from? Well, especially, especially going into the holiday season, I hope that people can just take hope from it. You know, <laughs> I didn't realize I said hope. But yeah, I hope that people <laughs> can take hope from it, you know. Um, Hope is something powerful in which we need right now in this state of the world. I don't even want to say America, you know. So yeah, yeah. Um, I just want people to feel that love and that hope and that um, genuineness that we, we try to bring to, uh, to the screen and just spend that time. And hopefully it'll reflect to your family members. Hopefully yeah. safety can teach you a thing or two and you might start a conversation or, or look to someone who could uh, possibly help you. I just want people to listen and reach out for help if they need it, you know, hope. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because like you said, even though it's not a Christmas movie, it has like this Christmas type of spirit in it. Like it's, it was, it's no better time than to release it right now. It's like the odds are like, you know, it's great to have it at this time. Yeah. No, I'm telling you, it was definitely favored in uh, playing this role and this, this climate right now, mm -hmm. you know, um, for something like this to drop, it's so timely. I have no doubt that any audience member would just gravitate towards this story because it's so rich and genuine. What Ray did was just full of courage and we need that every day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then like you said, you know, considering everything that we've been through this year, you know, just by being in the pandemic and then I guess having an uprising in the middle of the pandemic and everything that's going on, it's, I think it's gonna be good to have this sort of escapism um, right. Though it's a real life story, still be able to escape in a movie like this at a time like this that are, it's a turbulent time, but things are slowly changing. We're hoping at least a little bit of a change, I'm assuming, but it's still uh, a good project to, you know, people to dive into at this time. Uh, but what are some ways that you, Jay, in real life, and um, Ray, how are you similar and different? Well, Ray is a lot like me in a lot of ways. Um, if anything, I feel like we're, we're headed in the same direction in terms of work ethic. Mm -hmm. He works a, a lot harder than me though. Uh, <laughs> so I can say I'm in the same direction, but not necessarily on the same level, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so, and also just everyday struggles, you know, of uh, being a black man and, and then just in this world, I feel like just that story and how we have to overcome uh, just like Ray didn't grow up with the father, my dad was in, uh, my dad came out through the later half of my life, but in the early stages, I had to figure it out, you know, mm -hmm. but luckily I was able to uh, refurbish that relationship. You know, not everyone is that lucky when they get a strong support system like that all the time. You know, I'm so grateful for my father, you know, so um, in some certain ways we're different like that. He grew up in a different household, you mm -hmm. know, where he had to be the man all the time, especially going through college. You know, Ray's a very smart man though. So um, 
everything he did, I'm, I'm not surprised at all. So we have a, a lot of similarities. It just depends on where you look. Yeah. And um, I have to ask you, because it's a similar themed, um, <laughs> a similar themed project, I guess, uh, All American, because um, I love the show when it was first on the CW. And then once it hit Netflix, it just kind of like blew up. And I just had asked from like an actor's perspective, you know, I'm sure that your, your star literally rose in real time as more and more people were checking out the show. And then now you have this project coming out. So how does it feel as an actor to be in such high profile projects, you know, during a time where more people, I guess, have the opportunity to check out and binge watch shows and watch films, but at a time where everything is kind of different. Like, for example, we're not at like a, a physical junket right now. We're talking on Zoom. So how does it feel to go through all of this at the time period we're in? Well, honestly, I'm still blessed and grateful. Um, <laughs> and I don't feel like, I don't feel any, I don't feel like I'm lacking anything or I'm missing any, anything. I feel um, as a true actor, it's always about the work for you. You know, so fame and all this, the lights, camera, action, it comes and goes. So I'm truly not missing anything, you know. Um, I can see how people can, though. I can see how you can miss, oh, my gosh, my first red carpet. But for me, I'm just, I'm just here to act. I'm just here to create and tell stories and uh, hopefully change the world in the substance I bring to uh, roles. So um, to me, I'm just grateful. <laughs> yeah, it's and, a wonderful you know, day, you know. Yeah, I mean, again, there's there's two sides because you know it is like okay, well, I don't have this red carpet, I don't have this, but then you know because of the state we're in, so many more people are going to be able to discover this because they're not out, they're at home, like in in the during the time it's coming out their holidays anyway. It allows more people to to discover it, so I think that's also a good thing. Right. To know. And also, you never truly know when a movie or film or project is gonna pop. Yeah. I remember shooting on All American, and uh, it came out in the first few months. Nobody <laughs> was checking for it, you know. <laughs> People didn't even know the show existed. And then uh, a streaming service like Netflix would come along and then take it to another level. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's hard to gauge, you know, when something's going to catch fire. So um, as an artist, you just want to keep creating, you know, and not think too much about it. But pay attention and receive it. But you know, your job is to create, and that's what I just try to do. And do you have any upcoming projects that you can tease a little bit? Um, it doesn't have to be film or TV related, but just anything that you're working on that you would love for people to um, keep their eye out for? Um, yeah, just everything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> keep your eye out for everything, you know? <laughs> nah, I'm working uh, on a few projects with just friends and family members. Um, and throughout my career, I just hope to tell stories that not only center around my story or what I look like as a black man or anything, but I want to tell others, you know, other stories and their, their journeys, you know, I just want to expand, uh, with the narrative, narrative that comes from us. Um, and I have some great people around me that we were doing that when we had nothing, you know, three years ago, we were just brainstorming and having fun. So to me, as long as I'm creating and creating with people I love to create with, that's what I'm gonna tell people to look out for. Just great material. Yeah, you know, great material will always find people. <laughs> like people, yeah. people always find great material. Like, and I think that's something that, you know, a lot of people are doing now more than ever anyway, because, you know, people looking for like web series and like short films and things like that as content, it's, it's easier to find, easier to digest during this time period where people are like seeking more and more content uh, to consume. So I think it's, it's never, uh, you always think that the work will speak for itself and the work does speak for itself. And I think that's a definitely, definitely a good, uh, a good model. Yeah, as long as you're honest, it'll always work. Honesty, people gravitate towards it. And they just, you can tell the truth. You could, you could feel the truth, you know, when something's a gimmick or fake, I, it just doesn't work for me personally. So um, my number one goal is just to stay honest throughout this whole industry. And whatever happens, I'm okay with it. Hey, viewers, please check out Safety streaming December 11th on Disney+. Plus.